What's up, everybody? And today we're reacting to something that you guys have been telling me to react to for a little bit now. I did a video on the Stealth Bomber the other day, like two, three days ago. And um, people were saying, well, there's a new one out right now called the B-21, and you should check that out. So I'm checking out this video. It's called America's First B-21 Raider, The Whole World is Afraid Of. This is by Militarist. Um, I will leave a link down below to the original video. I've not seen this channel before, I don't think. Um, so please go over to the original video, give it some love. Really important that you do that. And let's check this out. Let's have some fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help with that mysterious YouTube algorithm. Check out Dreadnought Media in my description as well for all things mead. Check out the mead in the background. Where is it? Right here. Check out the mead if you haven't already. Um, Dreadnought Media in the description. Other than that, let's shut up. Let's pull this up and let's have a cheeky peek at the B-21. This nation's air power. Wait, let me restart that. The bomber fleet has been a cornerstone of this nation's air power. And tonight, we roll out the next generation of capability. We prepare to unveil the most capable stealth bomber ever. Did they legit, like, reveal it like this? Because this is very much like an Apple conference, but for something that would blow up a whole city. <laughs> This next generation aircraft defines what this nation is capable Whoa. of in technology for national defense. Digitally designed, enabled, and maintained, the B-21 Raider represents a view into the future and brings it to the here and now. Whoa. Seven years to build. A bit loud, though. plus years of dominance. It took, it took that long to build this? That's crazy, and how much time they put in. It's crazy to think that it takes so long that the technology from the start of the build to the end of the build is already, like, escalated tenfold, I'm sure. Because technology is just getting better and better every month these days. Do you know what I mean? $630 million bomber. $630 million? Holy shit. Meet the first B-21 Raider the whole world is afraid of. Okay. Tell me all about this then. Tell me why this is better than the previous Bombers one. The race is brewing between the US and China. In a move that would put the US ahead in the race, the first B-21 Raider has finally been unveiled after seven years of development. Seven years However, is a long time. For China, this is far from game over. Like the US, China is working on a brand new bomber with a similar flying wing design as- That's gotta be AI, right? That's def- that can't be- what the Chinese bomber looks like. That's definitely from Infinite Warfare. <laughs> the B-2 Spirit. This new Chinese bomber is known as the Xi'an H-20. This Whoa. is only another testament to how well China has managed to stay side by side with the US in the bomber space. Despite the US having 25 years of bomber dominance through the $2 billion B-2 Spirit. However, even during this time of B-2 dominance, China has developed its most advanced bomber yet. Whoa, my alarm's going off. Chill, mate. I'm enjoying myself here. Calm down. Freaking alarm. In an attempt to stand its ground against the B-2. This bomber is now known as the H-6, developed from Russia's 216 Badger. Whoa. This latest... Doesn't look as cool, though, does it? You gotta look good while you do it. That's the facts. You don't look good. What's the point? <laughs> Stare down between the two bombers began when eight B-2s took an elephant walk at the culmination of the recent Spirit Vigilance 22 training exercise in November. China, unwilling to ignore a stare down, launched an elephant walk of its own involving eight H-6 bombers. That was the latest. They don't look as cool. Look at them. Look at them. You gotta look cool while you do it, China. Come on. Come on this move in the bomber race between the world powers until the unveiling at the Northrop Grumman facility that introduced the world to America's most lethal bomber, the $630 million B-21 Raider. It looks, it, it looks pretty much the same. I'd, I, well, I want to put them side by side and really see the difference between the design of the two of them because obviously they, they've got that same kind of um, weird look to them sci-fi look to them but i bet there's some little bits of characteristics that are different on the outside the b21 ray that looks like a ufo right there that looks like a ufo raider the b21 raider is the world's first sixth generation aircraft 
the first six generation aircraft also it's got bigger angles to it by the looks of it the i'm pretty sure the b2 had like an extra bit of a triangle here right am i wrong there like this has just got the one two three points i'm pretty sure it had like five points the the b2 the bomber equivalent of the sixth generation NGAD fighter under development and born of the B-2 spirit, the B-21 is designed as an optionally manned bomber that's the lead of a larger family of systems for long range strikes, Whoa. intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare. The program that would birth the B-21 began in 2011 but it would take four years to select a contractor from a heated battle between a Boeing Lockheed Martin team and Northrop Grumman. Yeah, all the ones with UFOs, all of them, they've all got UFOs. I was keeping them secret. Northrop Grumman, with decades of stealth bomber experience from the B-2, won the contract to develop the B-21. Okay, so I get that they won the contract, but what's... How did they... I, I want more information on that. Did they come to the government and be like, here's our design plan for it? And then the other team came along and said, well, here's what we want to do. And that's how they won the contract. Or was it more of a, this is a contract, just go and do it type of thing. I wonder what the, I wonder what the, the scenario and the logistics of the actual um, contract competition between the two of them was by offering the most economical costs for the capabilities requested by the Air Force. Cost is a crucial point to consider when developing stealth bombers. This was a lesson learned from the B-2, with a cost per unit aircraft similar to the GDPs of some countries. Yeah. To build the B-21 to requirements with economical costs, Northrop Grumman teamed up with 400 suppliers across 40 states, all operating continuously for the past seven years even during the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Of these suppliers are seven of the world's most reputable companies as tier one suppliers of the program. These include renowned jet engine manufacturer, Pratt & Whitney, the largest defense contractor in Europe, BAE Systems, the world's largest first tier aerostructures manufacturer, Spirit Aerosystem. Basically a team of the best of the best, right? Like that seems to be what's happened here. They turned around and said, okay, we need to build this. We don't want to just get the parts and put them together. We want the best we possibly can. So let's get the best part. If we if we can break this down into different modules, and let's get the best part, best team, best company, best manufacturer for each part so that the whole thing as a whole is the best of the best. I mean, that makes sense, right? Like that's a no brainer. All of this... As someone who was just boots on the ground, Royal Marines Commandos, right? All of this, seeing this stuff is just reassurance to someone like me who's on the ground. Reassurance that there's not going to be uh, friendly fire. Reassurance that the intel we get is better. Reassurance that we're going to get help if we need it. It's all, it's, it's really nice to hear. That's, that's typically what it is. Northrop Grumman's Orbital ATK, Rockwell Collins, GKN Aerospace and Janiki Industries. All these companies, led by Northrop Grumman, developed the B-21 into a $630 million bomber with capabilities never seen. So that's the B B-2 there, right? Let me just rewind that a tiny bit. So it's in frame for you guys. It's got the extra triangle parts that I told you about, right? It's got this extra, like... There's one, two, three, four, five points on this one. Is that the B-2, that one? But he's never seen before. This makes the B-21 Raider about 68% yeah. less costly than the B-2. There you go. There's both of them together. So this, this B-21's only got one, two, three points. And it looks slightly smaller. About 68% less costly than the B-2, while being significantly more capable. 68%. Okay, so the cost might come from technology getting better and cheaper in the long run anyway, right? ...one had two plus decades of technological advancement on its side. Yeah, this yeah. This remains a military aviation wonder. Lethal as they like, the Air Force plans to acquire a minimum of 100 B-21s, with the possibility of going as high as 145 units wow. if the bomber can pass its tests in flying colors. Wow, Almost that's a lot. literally. Once introduced into service, the B-21 will initially work alongside other strategic bombers in the U.S. fleet. 
including the B-52 Strato Fortress, the B-1 Lancer, and the B-2 Spirit, before eventually replacing both the B-1 Lancer and the B-2. Marking okay. the end of the... So the idea is to slowly integrate this thing and take, basically take all the other stuff, put it to the side eventually, and have this one as the dominant one, which makes sense. By the time that happens, let, you can mark my words with this, right? By the time the B-21 takes over the other two, and it's the only one in commission, and the other ones have been decommissioned, I guarantee there's already a new one pretty much done. And they're just constant, they're constantly rolling out innovations. This is the US military, how much money they get. The constant, in fact, the B-21's probably in production right now, if not already done. I bet they're already doing the next one. B-2 dominance, or maybe a glorious continuation of it in another skin. Mm. Either way, the U.S. would have a bomber that would project the might of the U.S. military across every corner of the globe with the operational range of a ship and the firepower of nuclear weapons. Yeah. This is what China is up against this time, and their next move in the bomber race could only come from their new Xi'an H-20 bomber, and the country probably knows this. In fact, the renderings of H-20 came about the same time as those of the B-21, to know how good an equal of the H-20 would be, it would have to go head-to-head -head against the B-21. Time will tell. Time will get proper images of it instead of just renders, and time will tell. Finally. Finally. B-21 versus H-20. The American B-21 against the Chinese H-20. One of these is the most powerful, most advanced bomber ever developed which would wear the crown boils down to three main categories, stealth, avionics, and armament. Stealth. The B-21 will be built from the ground up as a stealth aircraft, mm. drawing from the stealth experience of the B-2. Alignment of edges, serrated skin panels, masking of the engine with fiber mat skin, yeah. and an overall flying wing shape are only some of what to expect. The B-21... I want to know what tech. I, I want to know what tech upgrades have gone on between the two. I want to know why they've changed the shape of the wings. I want to know what advancements are inside there so the pilot can do better things. Right, that's what I want to know. Like the B2, will also likely be painted in anti-reflective paint to reduce optical visibility during daylight flights. The undersides will be dark because it flies at high altitudes, yeah. over 50,000 feet up. Woo! And at that altitude, a dark painting blends perfectly into the sky. To ensure it always blends with the sky, an upward-facing light sensor will be on board the B-21 to alert the pilot to increase or reduce altitude to match the changing illuminance of the sky. Wow. To maintain the stealth features of these flying wing aircraft, they could be stored in specialized air-conditioned hangars that cost at least $5 million. The Chinese Whoa. H-20 also has a flying wing design and, like the Chinese J-20 fighter, would employ a holistic approach to reduce its radar cross-section. The chimed four-body, modified radar radome, and electroconductive canopy will be- Just think of the difference of, like, World War II to now, the advancements. Imagine, if you saw that during World War II, you'd be like, the aliens are here. The aliens, the aliens are coming to fight. You would think that was a UFO, 100% shaped to yield a signature performance. Serpentine ducts, a flat fuselage bottom, and sawtooth edges would also come into play for the bomber. But the experience of the Americans in stealth with both the B-2 and the F-35 can hardly be matched anytime soon. After all, F-35 has a radar cross-section tinier than that of a metal golf ball. The B-2 Spirit is currently the stealthiest aircraft in history and the B-21 is fitting to be stealthier than both of them. Oh my god. The size of a golf ball for the F-35? Is that the one it was, the F-35 it said? Oh my days. Avionics. To make the B-21 more decisive than previous bombers, the aircraft will feature many advanced and modern avionics systems that form a single integrated system. Some of these systems include a multi-mode radar, a fully digital navigation system integrated with terrain following radar and GPS guidance, an astro inertial navigation system to navigate using orbiting bodies in space, an AESA radar, an electronic warfare system, 
a distributed aperture system, an electro-optical targeting system, among others. So basically, it's got the best stuff you could possibly think of. This thing's unreal, isn't it? It's absolutely unreal. Link 16 and a high-frequency satellite link are used for battlefield communications and a defensive management system to inform the flight crew of possible threats and allow changes to the auto router's mission planning information while in flight so it can receive new data quickly to plan a route that minimizes exposure to the discovered dangers for members of the fleet. Again, right, this aircraft getting all this information is fantastic. Not only for the aircraft, but for lads on the ground, if that was the case. If there was ads on the ground anywhere near it, which you don't want to be near it, they're going to get relayed that information. Oh, just so you know, we've got a threat, you know, four or five miles to your, you know, to your west or whatever. It's nice to get that. You'll, get, you'll constantly get that information trickled down to you on the ground, which is just... At the end of the day, when it comes to warfare, information is everything. Information is literally everything. If you've got the right info, the quickest info, you could you you've got more chance of winning. That's simply it. Firepower helps, brains helps, training helps. Information is amazing though. You know what I mean? This makes the B-21 a central point in the sensor fusion system and therefore enables the bomber to be an effective battle manager. For safety and fault detection purposes, an onboard test system will be linked with the majority of avionics on the B-21 to continuously monitor the performance and status of thousands of components and consumables. The H-20 will more or less have a similar lineup of avionics, just the Chinese-made versions of them. The extent of how well they compare to or even surpass their American counterparts is left for the future to tell. Mm. Armament. Much like its predecessor, the B-21 will be capable of carrying over 30,000 pounds of armament, consisting of a variety of nuclear weapons, like the B-61 Variable Yield Nuclear Gravity Bomb yeah. and the Long Range Standoff Nuclear Cruise Missile, along with a number of conventional weapons. Absorbing the ability of the B-1 Lancer, the B-21 would be able to launch Lockheed Martin's Long Range Anti-Ship Missile, so basically, not only is it the best aircraft in the sky, but it's also got the best weapons in the sky. That's it. It's got the best, the best of everything. It's like you take literally the best of every single aspect of being in the sky, put it together, this is what you get. Apart from the one thing is it's probably not good in dogfights, but it doesn't need to be because of the altitude. So would also wield modern weapons, such as Boeing's GPS-guided Joint Direct Attack Munition, which are designed to engage targets from the greatest distances. All of these would make the B-21 the ideal stealth aircraft to wow. engage surface combatant ships in places like the South China Sea. According to the United States Department of Defense, the H-20 is expected to wield a minimum of 22,000 pounds of armament that enable China to reliably threaten U.S. targets as Ooh, far away as Hawaii a lot. and beyond. It is important to note that not much is known about the exact details surrounding the H-20, as it remains a Chinese Air Force secret. How great, great video. It's got However, lots of to say. on paper and timeline, the B-21 does have an edge over the Chinese bomber, mm. and for that reason, the B-21 wants you to subscribe to this channel. Okay, great video. Go over there, give it a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. There's a link down in the description. What a great video. The, the, the B-21, is it in commission? Is it actually, like, out there now? Let me know in the comments. Is it actually out there getting used? I don't think it is. I think we're just on the precipice of it. Well, this video is how old? 2022, so two years old. Not even that, because it was December 2022, so... Just over a year old. Makes me wonder, uh, is this actually out there just yet? Let me know if you know any more information, any updated information in the comments section, please. I would like to know that. Don't forget to like while you're down there. And if you've got any other recommendations for videos, let me know in the comments section as well. Other than that, I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.